Hi everybody, I'm Teresa and this is day 7 of my summer break and I read you chapter 9 of Mila Bedelia Shaped Up Yesterday so today I'll read you chapter 10. On chapter 10, throw like a girl, shake like a boy. Amelia Bedelia set up a running course as soon as she got home. Finally, he raced along beside her, and she wished she could run as fast as her dog. That's the only chance she'd have of beating anyone, especially Holly, who was faster than every girl and boy in the class. Amelia Bedelia practiced her 100-meter dash every day that week. But how, she wondered, would she ever learn to wrestle? At a time like this, an older brother or sister would come in handy. Even a younger brother or sister would help. She'd ask her parents for a baby brother or sister. She'd gotten her own dog instead. So she decided that finally it was going to be her wrestling partner. After all, Emilia Delia's favorite parts of nature showed shows were the wrestling matches between the young animals. She loved to watch lion cubs shoving each other around or a pair of bear cubs squabbling over honey. They were so cute. Finally was taking a nap. Mila Bedelia got down on her knees and snuck up behind her. She grabbed Finally's favorite chew toy, a blue plastic duck. Finally, open one eye. Come get it, Amelia Bedelia teased. Finally latched on to the duck and away they went tugging back and forth up and down from side to side, then rolling around on the ground together. Finally loved helping Mila Bedelia with her homework. Finally did teach Mila Bedelia one move. They were both tugging at the toy, straining with all their might, when finally suddenly let go. Mila Bedelia went tumbling backwards. She dropped the duck in surprise. Finally scooped it up her tail wagging in tree Smart girl, said Amelia Bedelia. Wanna go for a walk? It was a gorgeous day, so the park was packed with people and dogs enjoying the weather. Hi, Amelia Bedelia, said Diana. She was walking a bunch of dogs with her boyfriend, Eric. We just saw Charlie walking Pierre. Amelia Bedelia had once helped Deanna with her dog walking service, and Eric helped Amelia Bedelia and her friend Charlie solve a poodle problem. Maybe Eric could help her again. Hey, Eric, said Amelia Bedelia. Do you know how to throw a javelin? Eric laughed, but Deanna laughed louder. Well, said Eric, I was in the military a while ago, but not that long ago. Why do you want to throw a javelin? Amila Bedelia told them all about the upcoming pentathlon and how finally was helping her learn to wrestle. I once took a self-defense course, said Diana. I'll show you I'll show you what I know. Eric held the leashes while Diana and Amelia Bedelia headed to a grassy spot. If you have to wrestle someone bigger or stronger, said Diana, you can use their size and strength against them. She showed Amelia Bedelia how to push against opponents and then pull them off balance. It was the same move that finally I taught her. Remember, said Diana, as she and Eric headed off to deliver the dogs to their owners. Oh, I stand tall. Thanks.
thanks for helping me, yelled Amelia Bedelia. And just then, Amelia Bedelia stopped. Spotted Charlie. Actually, Pierre saw finally first and came running to greet them with a tennis ball in his mouth. Pierre dropped the ball at Amelia Bedelia's feet. Hi, Charlie, said Amelia Bedelia. Hey, Amelia Bedelia, said Charlie. Looks like Pierre wants you to throw the ball for him. Amelia Delia picked up the ball and threw with all her might. It soared through the air for about 10 feet before it landed on the ground. <laughs> Bounced once and rolled a couple of feet more. Pierre looked at the ball, then back at Amelia Bedelia. He had a funny look on his furry face that said, That's the best you can do? Even finally looked embarrassed. Ha! Charlie blurted out. You throw like a girl. Amelia Bedelia's face turned bright red. She felt angry and ashamed and confused and uncomfortable at all at once. That's right, Charlie said, Amelia Bedelia. I throw like a girl because I am a girl, and so is finally, which is just fine. But since you have a problem with that, we're leaving. Charlie caught up with her and grabbed her arm. She was tempted to use one of her new wrestling moves on him, but he was already apologizing. Amelia Bedelia, he said, I'm sorry. I'm just surprised you don't know the secret of throwing. What secret? asked Amelia Bedelia, blinking away her tears. Charlie showed her how gripping the ball with two fingers gives it a spin that keeps it on track to where it's aimed. Use your whole body, he said, not just your arm. Plus, take a few steps so you get the ball, you get the energy from your legs, too. Charlie helped her with each move until she had it down. Now, here's the secret, he said, almost in a whisper. Cross your right leg over your left on the last step. When you untwist all the power of your body, goes into the throw like this. Charlie gripped the ball, jogged a few steps, twisted his right leg over his left, and rocketed the ball into the air. Pierre finally looked at each other, then went racing off to retrieve it. Wow, said Emilia Bedelia, that's great. When the dogs, when the dogs came back, with the ball, Amelia Bedelia wiped the puppy, spit off it, and and tried Charlie's secret method. It worked! She'd never thrown that far before. Wow, she hollered, jumping into the air. We're friends again, right? Asked Charlie, holding out his hand. I'll always be your friend, said Amelia Bedelia, even, even though you shake hands like a boy. They laughed, parting ways, their dogs leading them home. Amelia Bedelia's mother was waiting on the front steps, holding what used to be her best cake pans. Ew, dog slobber. Everybody, maybe chapter 11 tomorrow.